So with the micro SD um, storage and the PS RAM successfully tested, we're going to move on and start soldering in the first set of LEDs. Before we do that, I strongly recommend that you remove the micro SD card and the ESP32 before continuing to solder. The simplest way to remove it is to stick your fingers in the ends and just apply a little bit of upward pressure, wiggling it carefully and until it pops out, you put it away safely. So to the front side of the circuit board, and we've got five sets of eight LEDs to insert, and then the balance of the four remaining um, run control LEDs over on the right hand side. I recommend systematically working through eight LEDs at a time from the lower left corner. Get this set in first, they're labeled LA8 through LA15, and then move up and do the next row, then the row above, moving on to the two sets in the middle from the bottom, moving up the board, and then lastly, the four on the right hand side. After soldering in eight LEDs, we'll put their accompanying resistors in and then we'll be able to test them and make sure that they're uh, working and oriented correctly. Now there are two acrylic, uh, smaller pieces of black acrylic in the kit that are gonna aid you with aligning the LEDs. So this piece with uh, horizontal and vertical slots in it is going to be used behind the LEDs um, to stand them off the circuit board by three millimeters or a little over a tenth of an inch. And then this sheet piece of acrylic with the eight uh, five millimeter holes in it will fit over the LEDs uh, to make sure they're in good alignment before you solder them in place. So to make this job easier, um, place this piece with the slots over the LEDs so you can see the two vertically aligned pads for each LED, and then just use some masking tape to tack it in place. Now remember that LEDs are polarized. So each LED has one long leg and one short leg. The short leg is the cathode, and in this case goes directly to ground. And um, if we look at one of the um, spaces for an LED elsewhere on the board, you'll notice a couple of indicators. First of all, uh, the cathode has a square pad as opposed to the anode, the longer leg, which fits through the round pad. The cathode is also closest to a flattening off in the silk screen, which if you look carefully, corresponds with a flattening off in the edge of the plastic casing around the LED. So that means that in every instance, the short leg should be downward towards the bottom of the circuit PCB, and of course the long leg uh, upmost towards the top of the PCB. Holding the PCB up a little so there's room for the legs to go through, it's then a simple job of just inserting your eight LEDs with the correct orientation, short leg towards the bottom, long leg towards the top, And you can see that they just come to rest on top of that black piece of acrylic. Now for the next piece of acrylic. So this has the eight uh, evenly spaced five millimeter holes and it should just fit down snugly on top of the eight LEDs like that and get them perfectly aligned horizontally. There's a little bit of wiggle room, so, and you don't want it all falling off when you go to put, uh, turn the board over to start soldering. So some more masking tape is gonna be handy here. Let me just perch the board up somewhere so my LEDs don't fall out. And get a few more pieces of tape ready. And so I just want to go straight over 
and use the masking tape to hold that black piece of acrylic, which in turn is holding the LEDs down. A final check on the, far, on the other side to make sure that all the short leads are on the same side, all the long leads on the other side, and the short leads are closest to what would be the bottom edge of the PCB. Knowing that all the LEDs are correctly positioned now, we can begin soldering. Again, if you're particularly concerned and not confident that everything's lined up, you would just tack in uh, one of the legs, either the short legs on the under low side or all the long legs on the top side. Check things out before continuing to solder. I've done this a few times now. I'm quite confident that the Perspex uh, pieces, alignment guides are holding everything in place. So I'm just going to go through and solder all my LEDs in. Before I cut the leads off, the excess leads off, let's remove the tape. And the alignment guides. And just check that everything looks even. See this last LED is actually sitting up slightly. So I'm gonna put the alignment guide back on and just use my fingers and a little bit of heat just to push that LED home. And now it's sitting down flush on the alignment guide. And that will just slide out and be ready for the next row. So you can see the sense in working up the board and each time you'll just slide that black piece of acrylic out towards the top of the board. So with that first line of LEDs in place, grab your side cutters and trim off the excess leads. Now before we can test these LEDs, we do need to put the resistors in place. And the resistors we need to go with the LEDs are the three uh, kilo ohm, 3000 ohm resistors. They're on the longer uh, paper tape strip of resistors. So we'll cut out the first eight of those. And remember the spacing of the through holes for the resistors is uh, reasonably close. So you do need to bend the resistor legs down right hard up against the body of the resistor. Now resistors are not polarized components. They can go in either way around, but for aesthetics, or maybe it's just pandering to my OCD, I like to orient them all the same way. One end has a gold stripe. That's the tolerance stripe on any resistor, gold or silver typically. And so I like to put them all in the same way around 
um, with the gold stripe at the same end. Now rather than messing around with tape, the resistors are quite easily held in position just by bending their legs outward. Put your finger on each resistor, pushing it hard down to the board before just bending its legs at about 45 degrees away from the pins, away from the through holes. That's usually enough to hold the resistor in place. And now we can get on with soldering them down. Just before cutting the leads off, just check that none of them have ridden up. Everything looks like it's in a good position, so we can come through and cut the excess leads off. Then we have the first set of LEDs successfully soldered in place. But always just, if anything uh, just gets knocked out of alignment or position, you can always just grab the alignment guide, piece of acrylic, just drop that, and if so long as, and it should just line those LEDs up with each other. So now it'd be a good idea to test these before we move on to the next set. And to do that, we're going to use the power supplied by the ESP32. So find your ESP32 module and head back to those female connectors and mount it, remembering to get the Wi-Fi antenna at this end near the RS232 connectors and the USB connector near the outside edge of the board and just push it down into place. Now I'm just using um, a USB power bank with a micro B connector 
to feed power into the ESP32. You'll see it has a little power light that comes on. And in the kit bag of components, I have included a test lead for you. Now we're gonna pick up power from either this bottom left-hand corner of the nearby IC socket, or you can pick it up from uh, the inside edge of this capacitor. Actually, yeah, that's it. Now, you can see all the traces for the LEDs quite clearly, and you can see which pins they terminate on around the edge of this IC socket, or you can make contact with the base of the resistor. It doesn't matter which. So here goes. So those first seven are very straightforward. The seven rightmost pins on the top row of the IC. This last one, um, if you follow the trace, it does disappear under the board through some vias, but it's the one that turns up here just right next to the power pin, second from the bottom right corner. And there's the last LED lighting. So that set of eight LEDs is good. And now we simply repeat this process row by row for each group of eight LEDs moving around the board and then much the same thing uh, for this last set of four. I'm not gonna take you through all of that in uh, normal speed, but I will just run through it quickly in fast motion.